Okay. This is our beautiful, as you can see, 76 Corvette. The paint is beautiful. I'll bring you around here. Don't mind our shop, it's a little dirty. We sent the car out to have a caliper put in, and one of their mechanics put a scratch in our hood. There's the scratch. It's the only scratch in the car. Front bumper, excellent condition. Brian, get in the car, start it up, and turn on the lights. We want to show you how the lights work. They are slow moving. The mirror on the passenger side, we have it. We just have to install it. This is a really nice car. It needs a little TLC, which because of my health issues, I don't work on cars anymore. Too very little. The wheels will polish up very nicely. I walk around, he's got the car started. Oh, the T-tops are nice. Real nice. The antenna, we can't try it because we don't have a radio face plate. Did you get out for a minute? I want to see something. There's the interior. There's your speedometer. There's your tack, which I took the car out on the road, got it up to 80 miles an hour, and the tack's stuck now at 20. Here is your center console with your gauges, gas gauge, as you can see, temperature, oil pressure. Right here, if you look at this video, there's a broken piece on the center gauge, just where my finger is. It's a piece of metal that's supposed to go from here to here, which is part of this right here, which has to be replaced. Then, if you come down here, I can show you that there's a little bit of damage here on this center console. Has a, like uh, somebody put a scratch in it and uh, needs to be replaced if you want to make it a show car. If not, you leave it the way it is. They do make metal, plastic stuff that repairs it. If you look over there, the screw in the corner on the door panel looks like it's over tightened. That must have been the gentleman I bought the car from, which is 83, born in 1938. Seats are nice, dash is nice, sunroofs are nice. Now, as we were doing this video, the headlights went up. So they do take a long time to go up. I have no control over that. I'll show you again. There they go. They go down. And they never go, they go down. Now, it could be a vacuum problem, a switch. I can have it looked at, but then it's going to raise the price of the car. But I prefer to sell the car as you see it. I'm coming around. I go inside, give it some gas. Is it possible that the vacuum switch is on incorrectly? Maybe we'll have Chico look at it, the guy around the corner. Give us some gas. The headlights work off vacuum. They shouldn't take this long to open up. They're lazy. I get a little more gas. I got a feeling you got a kink hose. I might be able to look at that. Okay. Open the hood. I want to show the motor. What we do here is oil changes, minor tune-ups, technical stuff we don't do. Got a brand new master cylinder, been replaced. Brand new alternator. They upgraded it with the chrome valve cover and chrome air cleaner. And if you look here, 
the shroud that covers the fan. Hey, the headlights are up. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The radiator shroud is missing a piece. Must have been when somebody was working on the car they broke it. If you look over to the other side, that's where the air conditioning goes. Some people ask, where's the light for the hood? I don't see a light on the hood here. That's when your car, uh, you have a light when you're out on the road, I guess, you pull over and it's dark out, you want to check your oil. The car has headers on it. This area here is where the air conditioning compressor would bolt up, but you would need brackets, two hoses, and then in the front takes a radiator that I believe is called a condenser or something of that nature. Yeah, we replaced the upper hose, uh, air cleaner, spark plug, brakes are new, and there's this beautiful car. Look at the paint on this car. Okay, let's go up in the air with it and let's show the underneath. Watch the hood. Wow, I can't get over this paint. And it's not even waxed. If I wax this car, it'll clean. Tires are like new. The wheels will buff out. You can buff these and it'll really shine. It also could probably use some nice warm lug nuts. Okay. Looking underneath, when you buy a Corvette, you always look for if there's any holes in the frame. The car sits for a long time. Corvettes were known for rusting on the frame. There's no holes in the frame of this car. This is your floor, which right here looks like some repairs were done. Something was repaired right here. A little piece was put on. There's your transmission, pan. The rear main seal's got a little bit of wetness around it, like dampness, as you can see right there, the video. They got the upgraded catalytic converters on it for emissions. It's got dual exhaust, like all vets. There's your tires. There's your mufflers. There's only surface rust. There's no holes in them. Okay, and as you can see underneath, this little overspray is the fresh paint because the car was just painted. No excuses on the bumper, no dents in the car, no stress marks, no cracks, no complaints. Bushings on the back leaf spring look pretty much close to original. I don't see no rips. No tears. Okay, bring it down. Again. Nice wheels. I think we polished a little bit over here. Yes, we did. Slow down. Uh, it's hard to see in this lighting here. But we polished this right here a little bit. If you put some mothers on here, this will shine like chrome. I wish I can help, but I can't. My hands lock up. Right now I'm having a little struggle holding the camera. So I might take a break. There's your front lights. So what does this car need to make it a show winner, a car to take to a car show? Little things here and there. That probably add up to about $1,000 or more. So here it is. Your 1976 Burgundy Corvette with a burgundy interior with glass T-tops. That engine and drivetrain is in excellent condition that you can take to any car show. If you want to make this car any better, all you do is if you want to add air conditioning, go for it. Open the garage door and let's back it out so they can see it in the sunlight.
While you're here, you can look at our 62 Ford Falcon. One of one. You'll never find another one with a cool paint job like this. With a nice, cool interior. Check it out. Look at that. Ain't that something? Oop, my finger was in the way. It's got custom interior, diamond plate. Pretty neat. Ooh, look at the motorcycle. So that's that. Nice chrome wheels. Luggage rack on top. Nice flames on the hood. Look at that. Okay. Nice motor. 302. Out of an 88 GT Mustang. Don't mind our dirty floors. Okay, shut the lights again. Shut the lights. Turn them back on. That switch underneath, what is the function? If you touch that switch, what do you do? Turn it? What do you do with that switch? Does it turn? Try turning it. It might be closed. Give it some gas. It works off vacuum. Give it some gas. Let's see if they go back up. They go kind of slow. So I believe it's a vacuum leak. So again, our nice 1976 Corvette will be sold in the condition it's in. Minor little repairs could be done at a low, low price. We don't have the power and the energy to do it right now. So we are offering this beautiful 76 Corvette as you see it. There she goes. Let's call it Lazy Eye. I can call one of the guys in town that's a Corvette expert and ask him what would it take to make these go up faster. We can just check vacuum hoses, that's what we can do. But when it comes to technical support, we're a small time dealer who does oil changes, brake jobs, and things like that. Any technical support or work gets sent out. Thank you for your time and cooperation. 32 years in the business. I've only been unhealthy in the last four, which has put a little damper on our repair work. Thank you for your time and visit cartimeusedcars.com.